this is a story from one of the world's major biodiversity hotspots, the Western Ghats. Once stretching from southern Gujarat all the way down to Kerala, the Western Ghat green cover has been vanishing at an alarming rate. Just in the southern state of Karnataka, the Western Ghats once had, just back in 1985, 16.21% evergreen forest cover, which was reduced to 11.3% in 2018. And now, it's expected that we will only be left with about 10% forest cover pretty soon. A surviving gem in this vanishing Eden is Agumbe, located in the Tirathahalli Taluk in this Karnataka state. Agumbe and its surroundings are known for their copious rains, pristine natural environment, arica plantations, and most importantly, the king cobra. The king cobra or Ophiophagus hannah is the longest known venomous snake in the world, reaching up to 18 feet, especially in the Southeast Asia, while the Indian specimens are usually between 12 and 15 feet long. Males are usually olive green with black and white bands, while females are much darker. Onset of monsoons heralds the end of the breeding season and this also means that the snakes would be free from their mating and breeding duties and would look for warm, dark places to shelter from the rain and the colder weather. This reason, combined with the fact that humans tend to attract rodents, would in turn attract snakes such as cobras, rat snakes, Russell vipers, all of which happen to be prey species for the king cobra, land up bringing these large snakes into contact with human habitations. Kitchens, cowsheds, grain stores, granaries, you name it, these are all very attractive and preferred shelter spaces for these snakes for their warm and dark surroundings. Fortunately though, for such large snakes, king cobras are usually not aggressive and tend to avoid human contact, preferring to move away instead of confronting, unless it is a female defending its eggs or a male defending its mate. Thankfully though, neither the snake nor the humans in this unique, peacefully cohabited area prefer to harm each other. And as a result, when a snake is sighted, instead of trying to kill the snake, the locals prefer to call for rescue and relocation. We were privileged to witness one such operation during a recent visit to Kalinga Center for Rainforest Ecology, a research site that welcomes people to engage in direct conservation. Not only does one get to experience nature in its most pristine form, but also an opportunity to delve deeper by learning about life in the rainforest. KCRE, as it's better known, is owned and operated by Gauri Shankar and Sharmila. Gauri Shankar is a wildlife biologist studying king cobra for close to two decades. He is a PhD candidate at the North Odisha University and a former exchange student at the Uppsala University, Sweden. In this video, we get to see Prashant, who is the manager at KCRE and the right-hand man of Gauri. Both Gauri and Prashant have been featured in several wildlife documentaries by channels such as BBC, Discovery, Nat Geo Wild, Animal Planet, The Smithsonian, and the National Geographic Channel. Rescue calls usually begin with a call from a resident whose home had been invaded by a king or some other snake species. 
The caller has asked for additional information about the sighting, such as time when the snake was found first, whether the snake is in a stable state or is it moving around, if it is staying put, for how long and so on. The caller is then asked to provide the location and soon the team heads out to the location to begin the rescue and relocation. When we reached the spot, we found that the residents had seen the snake basking just outside their perimeter and insisted that the snake be removed since it could enter the house at any time. By the time we got to the location, the snake took shelter inside a stack of stone fence pillars which was stacked next to the perimeter. And with shelter from all sides and a single opening, the snake curled up and refused to move out despite all efforts. Preparations began with setting up a bag and a pipe just a little distance away to bag the snake once it's out. And meanwhile, efforts were on to clear the area around of all the shrubs and debris so that the rescuer, in this case Prashant, could get working area which is free of any kind of hindrance. While initially efforts were made to move the snake by prodding it with a stick, with very careful efforts made not to directly touch the snake to the extent possible, the snake, however, feeling safe in its cooped up location, refused to budge. A short discussion ensued and it was decided that some of the pillars would be moved slightly to make some space for maneuvering. This worked, and after a short while, the snake slithered out of the stack. And Prashant took over, maneuvering the snake towards the bag which was set up earlier. King Cobras pack enough venom to kill an elephant in a single bite. With a potent neurotoxic venom, a bite can cause death in as quickly as 30 minutes. With a little handling and a lot of encouragement from Prashant, the snake was soon bagged and secured. Bagging can be an extremely risky operation since the snake can bite through the bag and hence the hook is used to create a barrier between the snakes and the hands of the rescuer while the bag is being secured. As you can see, 
the snake is still trying to make an effort to get out and if it senses there's a human body or a warm body next nearby the snake would not hesitate to strike Once the snake was secured though, the local forest officers were called and a report was made on the rescue and soon the forest department sent a representative who was there to supervise and monitor the release of the snake a short distance away. The release itself can be seen in a separate video, the link for which has been provided below in the description. Do take a look and let us know what you think of this entire exercise. And if you want to know more about snakes and the rainforest in general, do visit Kalinga Center for Rainforest Ecology located at Agombe. The location and the contact details are provided below in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much and hope to catch up with you soon again.